Hello, Sarah of Horror Festival team. Hello, Sarah of Horror. Nice to meet you. <laughs> My name is Christian Koch. I'm a director uh, and writer from Germany. Uh, I directed and wrote Lips and Tips and also co-produced it and edited it. Um, uh, I was asked to do this little video here and I'm very grateful because I'm very proud that our film has made it into Sarah of Horror. We were at a lot of festivals all across the world uh, but I saw uh, much love in this festival here and uh, that's why I applied for it and we are beyond thrilled and happy that you accepted us and yeah greetings from Germany from me and all of my crew and my uh, actors who are very proud to be a part of this uh, festival and I hope it will continue and have great success in the future and I wish you very uh, much uh, joy and pleasure for this first edition. Uh, I was given a list of uh, some small questions uh, I would like to ask them. The first one was like something I have to paraphrase here. <laughs> um, how did I come to be in the horror genre? Like well, <laughs> you see, I'm a great film fan since I can think. Uh, uh, I'm sorry for my bad English by the way. Um, like since I was little I heard I listened to stories on like audio book, audio cassettes and stuff and for children first and fairy tales the Grimm's uh, Grimm's fairy tales for all, uh, um, most of them and especially like the horror parts you know <laughs> they're very horror filled um, but then later I, I I was I watched a lot of horror films much much too early like Halloween uh, Pet Cemetery and a lot of uh, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and stuff like around the age of se seven, six, six, seven, eight, started to watch horror films like in all cap capacities and um, watch it late night on TV and stuff and later then I bought VHS's, then the DVD came, then the Blu-ray, now the 4K and the streaming shit. <laughs> so I watched horror movies all the time and I'm a great fan of film in general, not just horror, or all kinds of genre. I did also different genres, not just horror, but I'm that's my favorite genre of all them because you can live, you can uh, work the most freest and you can explore the most things in this genre and you can have a great effect on the audience. The other thing, how did I become a filmmaker? Yeah, first of course I'm a film, film lover and then all of, like, gradually it came to like, maybe I can do something started to do skate videos and little short films uh, then we got more serious I did a, I done a little slasher called Cut Wide Open it was very 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 amateur like and then I uh, enrolled in a university the Bauhaus University in Weimar where I studied film but I had a lot of knowledge beforehand already and we shot a lot of films there including Lips and Tips as my bachelor film <coughs> it was my bachelor film for fine arts and yeah this was a project uh, that I developed over uh, uh, over a year almost like I wrote a script which is based on like this is now for the question <laughs> how lips and tips came about uh, I heard a, a, a true a real life story about someone disguising himself as someone as somebody else to lure somebody into a car and they escaped found the bag and in it was like a giant knife and stuff and like ropes and he, and I, that feeling fascinated me because it was spooking me very much like the feeling of closely getting away being so close to being uh, murdered or something and then I developed the whole story around it uh, the complete second half is, is then fictitious and it was great fun to shoot it. it was a lot of stuff that we had to manage because we were like a student film and uh, I hope it doesn't show we, we did all our best we secured great locations like a real airport a real parking garage um, a real like a real cool apartment like no cheap sets we got real actress Vivian Koenig you may know her and by the way thanks for all the nominations we are like uh, uh, nominated for I think best best short film uh, best screenplay and best screen queen and nobody would deserve it more than Vivian Koenig who give everything in it here and our lead actor Mike Muller also a real a, a true actor um, and yeah so we got two real actors great locations and, a, and a, an awesome crew and with my producer partner uh, Maximilian Kraus we did everything in seven days except some reshoots for the landing for the, just like shots without actors and we did like one day extra it was a really tough shoot like long working days 14 to 15 16 hour days uh, but we got everything we wanted and it was tough to shoot everything <laughs> you know in the student film nothing is like easy like the logistics of it all and everything but we had great opportunity i was i was very much uh, uh, yeah like motivated hard time but after this week i completely like phew, shut down for a few days mm -hmm. and then we started uh, to edit it right before and uh, we were finishing it right before covid hit 
and then we had a long time for post productions and did everything we wanted like great sound mix great soundtrack and everything um yeah and i hope this movie will um bring a lot of joy to your fans i hope i answered most of the questions <laughs> and yeah my current favorite horror films that was a qu another question i really enjoy um i really enjoyed x from Thai West and I'm waiting to see Pearl now and then Maxine. I like Hereditary like from newer horror movies. Um, the Maniac remake was also great, also the original is also great. But um, my favorite director is John Carpenter, you know, Halloween, The Fog, uh, The Thing and so, and so on. Uh, but I'm very deep into horror, like every sorts of horror movies, like ghost stories, vampire stories, zombie stories, psychological stories, uh, everything you can offer in the horror genre. That's why it's so vast and so different and you can do everything in the genre. Uh, maybe a, a little um, hidden gem for all your listeners out there, like a movie called The Entity. It's one of the best horror movies and nobody knows. You can check that out. Uh, yeah, that was it on my part. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too long and too boring. Uh, Again, I wish you all the best with the festival. Uh, we are so grateful that Lips and Tips will be showing there. And um, yeah, greetings from Germany. Have a great time. Go to the movies and goodbye.